six film that you just viewed is kind of out of date already. Well, it's been 14 years since that was done. And the film says that this was the location of Copenhagen's Ford sales. It is now the location of Aller's Pharmacy. The face of Main Street has changed considerably in that 14-year period. This is where Copenhagen's Ford sales was. Also was the location of the opera house that is talked about in the film. And now the whole thing is Aller's Drugstore, Aller's Pharmacy. The corner portion here that is shown at one time was the location of the Hardy Bank. It's kind of hard to uh, film this with all the traffic going by and people uh, coming and going. Did you get a good view? 1976 film, this was shown as a vacant lot and remained vacant until 1978 when the municipal building was built. This contains the fire hall and the police station and the answering service. At one time it also contained the office of the village clerk. The building next door was completed in 19... 87 and stands on the site of the former city hall which was torn down in May of 1975. Excuse me, that's May of 1985. This area of the city hall was the location of the Masonic building which uh, was destroyed by fire in February of 1985. Upon tearing down the Masonic building, uh, they discovered that some damage was done to the city hall, which stood on this site, and later caused it also to begin to fall down and was torn down and replaced by this building, which is now the location of the village clerk's office, the council meets here, and various uh, other activities. Another change in Main Street since 1976 is this area where the library now has a new community room. In the 1976 film, we see David Hare riding down the street on his bicycle here. This was the location of the Hare funeral home on this area and also the location of Troutner's building, Kenny Troutner, automotive and electric, and also the building that was a residence and a business below that was one time the news office, later owned by Jim and Anna Miller, with a business below and apartments up above. The library was expanded. And now in 1990, we have the children's library moving into the community room, which is located behind these windows, and the addition of a new community room, which is in this area here. library building was built in 1958 and was added on to in 1962 and again in 1980 and 87 when this area here was completed. The old fire bell that uh, stood in the steeple of the old city building, the old city hall. 
It's now placed outside of the new municipal building. of Main Street has changed considerably since 1976. This building was built. The building that stood on this site was the Lloyd Restaurant, which was talked about in the 76 film. Next door to it was the Marley Beauty Shop, which Lloyd's expanded into. That burned in February 23rd of 1981. This building was built several years later and served as a restaurant for about five years until it was closed in uh, 1988. The west side of Main Street by the railroad track also has changed considerably since the 1976 film. In this area were three buildings occupied by Griffith Sales. At one time, the building adjacent to the wall that we see here was a bakery. Later on, it became part of Griffith Sales, and there were three buildings in here. These buildings burned on uh, December the 2nd, 1985. December 2nd, 1985, these buildings were destroyed by fire. It was there. The Cablevision now owns the property and has talked about building a building on uh, the lot. In the meantime, all that's there is their equipment. This building, too, has changed since 1976. At that time, it was the office of Dr. Lloyd. Now, uh, it's occupied by a beauty shop, Arloween's Beauty Shop, Arlo's Sweet Shop, John New Love Real Estate. Also uh, in the building is uh, the Up Your Alley uh, Craft and Gift Shop. This building has a new wooden front at the bottom and a brick structure at the top. Previously, it had the same front on as the building next door. This was occupied by these businesses in December of 1978. 